the candidate. George Kittor is a matchup to keep our eye on. Bobby Wagner is the best in the game, hands down. I don't care what anyone says. Bobby Wagner is in the ma- if he doesn't have the athletic ability as much anymore, he has the intellect. He has the football acumen. That matchup versus George Kittle is very intriguing to me because I did see Bobby Wagner. He did not have his best game against the Washington football team. He had made some brilliant plays, but it was number 56, I think, who had the better game. Bobby Wagner did lose his matchup against the tight end. They have a good tight end, the Washington football team. He's a good pass-catching tight end. George Kittle, I think, is an all-around by far superior tight end. But I really look forward to seeing what he can do against these linebackers. Kyle Juszczyk is the other person. Brandon Ayuk, I think, the so if they can't shut Mitchell down, I feel like the, the the Seahawks will focus on removing Ayuk from the equation because with no Debo Samuel, they know he's our first wide receiver now. So I think that, that their their one dimensional attack may actually come in the, in trying to remove the the pass game from Garoppolo and flooding his field of vision. You know that Bobby Wagner and Pete Carroll will flood the box, so this is what Jimmy Garoppolo will see because he does react to that in a negative way. I feel. Well, let's focus on George Kittle because it seems that, you know, there's Elijah Mitchell and they do give him a lot of touches, but someone's going to have to step up down the field for this, for this team. And, you know, there's Ayuk and he's been hot recently, but Kittle's like a captain. Kittle's the highest paid player. I mean, he's the highest paid tight end in the league. He's supposed to produce. And I, I don't really know what's going on for him with him, but this year he's like his lowest yards per reception since his rookie year, his his lowest receptions per game since his rookie year, his lowest yards per game since his rookie year. He's just been kind of an afterthought. And maybe they're like, you know, he's been hurt. He's a little older. Let's just get him to the playoffs and then unleash him. You can't, you got to use him this week. And if you keep him in the garage, you just might lose a game. You should win. So I'd like to see George Kittle kind of I come agree. to life and be the George Kittle we remember. If Bobby Wagner feels that George Kittle is being taken out of the game by Kyle Shanahan, it allows him to focus on other things, and we don't want that. Uh, Remember Kittle from 2018? He used to be able to catch a pass and just run through the defense for a touchdown. I can't remember the last time he did that. That's Debo now. They're just not giving him the options. I feel like this the run game and Debo Samuel, and it's become a Samuel-centric offense lately. I, I know that George Kittle hasn't had the greatest season, he is showing up in other ways. He is. He's still yeah, the blocker. He's, still, blocker. He is. he's yeah. still the responsible tight end. I I don't they I don't feel they are feeding him the ball because I feel like they're they are force feeding the ball other ways. And like Debo Samuel and and I just I just feel like it's up to Shanahan to use to use Kittle. I don't see anything from Kittle. Do you? It doesn't seem to me like he's not running his routes well. Seems to me like he is. Seems to me like sometimes he's open. It just seems like he's not really the primary target. And some of his receptions, they seem to come to him when he's wide open. It's like they don't want to throw to him when it's contested. Do you see this as well? Or why do you think they're not throwing it to him? I don't know. Hard to say. Uh, I just don't know. But to me, it looks like he's not as fast as he used to be. Still a great blocker, but he just doesn't look as fast and as explosive as he used to be. I don't know. I mean, he's still getting some catches. But like when he catches a pass in the flat, I'm not really thinking he's going to go for a big game. Whereas anytime Debo gets the ball, I'm like, like that. Kittle might, like, you know, he might miss, he might break one tackle. Nothing against him, but he just doesn't seem the same really since 2019. I don't know what it is. Uh, there are but a lot he of needs to like go crazy in this game. Who nurse like nagging injuries? Who don't talk about it? It's very yeah, it's possible that this yeah. offseason he might need some attention. He's got, yeah, he's got a calf thing. Maybe he's, it's still affecting him, and you never know. But, as far as pivoting and explosion, you need your calf muscles. 